Tava estou tanto por tá bom, tá. I don't know what I'm. My favorite thing is the wrong side double leg. That works seems to work well, not every the time. Well, they're on bottom down like. Ah! Okay, so we got, we got Kelvin Gastelum. We'll talk to Kelvin. Hell right. yeah. Hey, oh, what's up, Kelvin Gastelum? How are you, man? That hair. Yeah, yeah, he looking at us. Is it this one, Kelvin. Oh, I got up. <laughs> Put your damn headphones Sorry about on. That. Thanks. Can you guys hear me? Can you see How me? are you, brother? Barely. Good, good, good. Can we get the volume up? I, the volume's a little weird. Uh, so we're talking to one of the best fighters in the UFC. Uh, he he was top two at 185, top two at 170. Uh, he was he's not proving everybody enough. wrong. Everyone's like he's not going to be able to make it at 185. He knocked out Bisbing. Yeah. Uh, he he beat Jacare, yeah, uh, something yeah. you couldn't do mayhem. Uh, so and now I don't where are you? You're in Florida. Uh, how are you, man? What's going on? I'm in Miami Beach, man. Nice. I'm gonna see you tomorrow at the Miami Improv. I'm gonna be there tomorrow night. So are you are you taking a vacation? My, What's going on? That was my my Scarface impersonation. Miami Beach, man. Anyway. Can we get yeah. volume on this? Is there something uh don't help me? Is it Miami Beach, man? Miami Beach, it, man. Alright, do we how's the volume? Are we uh Gage, thank you, man. You guys can Gage, hear me well or no? Alright, here we go. Uh Kelvin, talk for a sec. Yeah, hello. Yeah, it's better, right? It's better. Yeah. All right, talking to Kelvin yeah. Gaslam. So you're taking a uh, vacation? I'm out in Miami Beach, brother, having a, a little little time to myself before I head back to work. Good. Now, did your girlfriend graduate high school? Is that what you're celebrating? <laughs> <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> you asshole. Yeah, by the way, he um, has this, he has like a, a girlfriend in college. She's smoking hot, she, but she's got to um, be like what twenty one. She shows up to your fi fights she wearing her sorority letters and stuff. She just looks she just so young, but she graduated years ago. But actually, actually, I, I got a confession to make. Her and I split up uh, a few months ago, like wow. two months ago. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah. What happened? Was it because did she is she's dating Darren Till now? Is that what happened? Or, I think uh, so, man. No. Fuck. She's a good girl. Uh, damn. All right. So, so you're in Miami, just rocking Cuban vagina right now. You're probably going crazy. Well, I met up with uh, I met up with Henry out here. I met up with Kamaru out here, and we're just having a good time. Well, Kamaru's Kamaru's in training, but uh, Henry and I are having a good time. Uh, you and you and Henry Cejudo. Do people think that you're his dad? <laughs> <laughs> we. Pass for brothers. Uh, okay, I like it. I like it. Now, uh, that now I had money on you in that last fight. I'm not gonna ask like someone asked Nate Diaz like, hey, pay pay my my, my rent because I like blew my rent on your thing. Uh, I was like, Shoot. dude, um, was it one of those things you just I couldn't get started? Yeah, yeah, of course. Absolutely. Was it something where you just couldn't get started against against Till? Yeah. I mean, I just felt flat. I don't know uh, if, if, if Mayhem has not felt like that. I don't know. Fight night, just fucking flat and just yeah, not on, you know, at all. And just you not, think maybe that night at all. maybe a little bit of overtraining or uh, like, what are you gonna do different on the next one? I mean, uh, you got to learn from that, right? Right, right. And uh, I just think it's a lot of things that I I could have done better during during uh, fight week. You know, maybe rest a little bit more, not train as much, and, and mm. maybe not cut as much weight. You know, this time we cut it close, and uh, I think it, it all affected me, and, and it kind of felt flat, just real flat. And not, not my night, man. I don't even feel like I lost to Darren Till. You know, it's not like I got destroyed or flattened by him. It's just not my night that night. No, of course. Now, um, but man, I'm, 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 I've already got 2020 mapped out, bro. I'm, I'm so excited for for what's to come, man. I'm, I'm recharging right now here in Florida, as you can see. Uh, oh. But 2020 is already mapped out, and I'm, I'm, I'm planning a big year ahead. Now, you were a state champ wrestler. You're a great wrestler. In that third round, you went for a takedown, but there was like 20 seconds left. Um, do you kind of wish that you kind of went for the take uh, takedown earlier? Um, yeah, I mean, I just wish I could have been on, on, on my, on my shit that, that night more, you know, I mean, I, I just wasn't on my, on my game that night. I, it, it, I really, it's, it's a sucky feeling that I never want to feel again. Well, you know, people always say like, Hey man, Kelvin Gastelum in the gym, he shows up late. Uh, the girls beat him. Everyone, fucks him. <laughs> everyone fucks him up. But then when it's fight time, you just knock everyone out. I mean, you're just. A different fighter fight time. 
Um, but this, so maybe it was just an aberration. It was a one-time thing. It was something where it was just, hey, sometimes you just, this, this is the first time that ever happened to you, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I yeah, just felt fucking flat and just not on, you know, and it, it was really weird. I never felt like that in a fight, and I don't ever want to feel that again. Well, I mean, you're right there, man. Now, what happened on the scale? Because they said that you were, uh, your coach, <laughs> your coach, like, leaned forward or something. Yeah. And you, you got in trouble. Like, what, 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 what yeah, exactly happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess my coach got a little too close, you know, overlooking uh, the scale there. And, uh, you know, I didn't even notice that he was right behind me. I was just <laughs> focused on making the weight. Uh, <laughs> Lifted you up by uh, the ass. <laughs> that's what they said. That's what they said. This guy. Now, 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 did you? But you got like in trouble, or like you, now you can't go back to New York? Like what happened? No, I uh, I got a little fine for for doing that misconduct and um, for scale tampering. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, hilarious and for, then, be uh, for beating the system. No, but now. <laughs> Now at 170, like, because you, you you were having a tough time making 170, but you could make 170. You won the Ultimate Fighter at 170. Um, what did right? you fight? Sorry. Oh, 85. But you used to fight at 170. Yeah. Uh, but then this time That's you had right. a tough time making 85. Like, did you get up to like 230, 240? <laughs> I'm being serious. <laughs> I no, I I did get really heavy in my after my fight with uh, Israel in April. I took a, a really long time off just because I wanted my hip, my body to heal up, and and I I took my myself away from training completely for like two months, and I I did get up pretty pretty heavy, you know. Is it your mom? I think this is your mom's fault because your mom keeps making you <laughs> right. Your mom makes you those like burritos and the this and that and all that Mexican yeah. food. Like, do you tell your mom? I like, unfortunately, I don't hang out with my mom that that much anymore because of that. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, mom with Sorry, the case mom. of then, Okay, but then your girlfriend <laughs> was a nutritionist, and then you broke up with her. <laughs> and then you gained, right. you gained 40 pounds. Like, <laughs> like, well, who so are you, her fault. Did you break up with her for Aunt Jemima? Like, who the fuck did you? Like, is, <laughs> did, she, what is, did she have stuff to do with this? No, no. I, I just feel like it, it was my fault, you know, in my time off. I gained too much weight, and then uh, I had, you know, this time I had a little bit of trouble. How much weight, weight did but, you uh, cut? It, oh, how much weight did you cut uh, the week uh, out? Sorry to cut you off there, bud, but how much weight week, did you cut the week out? The week of uh, 15, 15, okay. which I don't really ever do that much. Yeah. Um, Good, actually, yeah. It, actually, in most of my fights at 85, I'm walking at 85. Yeah, it seems uh, like just, that could this, definitely this time, affect uh, your conditioning, bro. 15 pounds yeah, in a week, no, you know, does. that that's kind of rough. Yeah. You also have been knocking yeah, everybody no, out. Sure. And um, do you think maybe you kind of fell in love with your power? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. I, I was pretty confident that I was going to knock him out. But out there and looked like shit, so yeah, maybe. So was I, because like, you just... Yeah, your boxing is on point. He was a, a Golden Glove boxer. Oh yeah. So he, if you don't know Kelvin's story, because I know you've been away for a while, so uh, so <laughs> Thanks, <buddy>. so <laughs> so Kelvin graduated high school, was like the eighth seed in the state tournament, won the states, right? Then he goes to college. He misses his mom. He's like, I, I miss my mom. I want to be home. Go drops out, becomes a bail bondsman. Oh yeah. And starts boxing. Nice. Becomes a Golden Glove boxer. Then he goes on the Ultimate Fighter. He's the last pick. Everyone's like, oh, this guy, <laughs> this fat, chubby Mexican. Like, come on. He wins the Ultimate Fighter. Beats Uriah Hall in, in the finals. Fucks up Uriah Hall. Then he fights. He beats the next five guys. Then Tim Kennedy uh, he misses, misses weight in New York City for uh, Donald Cerrone. <laughs> Everyone fucking abandons him but me. I call him up yeah. because I, I, like, block my number and he, like, picked up. Right? <laughs> so then we, be, we became friends. He fights Tim Kennedy. Yeah. Kennedy's He's like, I'm going to teach him a lesson. He beats the fuck out of Tim Kennedy, right? Yeah, yeah. Then Bisbing loses to <laughs> yeah. GSP. Yeah. Bisbing says, all right, I'm going to fight Kelvin to get my mojo back. He knocks fucking Bisbing yeah, out, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Which, is, which is crazy. Then he fights Israel. Everyone's yeah. like, oh, Israel's going to fuck him up. This is style bender. It's 2-2 two -two going into the fifth. Yeah. And it was a real close one. He, he almost won, but, but Israel got him. I got I to gotta say. It was very, very close. So now he fights Israel Darren Till. And I'm like, here we are. Right? Am I, am I right? Pretty much a good assessment of your life so far? 
I mean, some of your facts are a little skewed, but yeah. <laughs> hey, that's Adam Hunter, bro. Yeah, Welcome yeah. to the show, MMA Rose. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he always but does that. Basically, yeah, you're 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 on the money, basically. Bro. Yeah, he also <laughs> chokes out Jake Ellenberger in one round. Nice. Uh, I Damn, mean, he's, that's tough. I mean, he's he just he's been that's fucking nice. everybody up. Uh, yeah. He's, so what do they got on the deck for you in 2020, bud? I I can't wait to see your next fight, man. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Um. I don't have an opponent lined up yet. I'm targeting maybe fighting around March. Hmm. Uh, I, I want to make some holidays. I get the eat a little <laughs> <bit>. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> don't don't blow up to 255. All right, bro. No, I'm we don't want to see not. you a heavyweight. All right. <laughs> no, that was a learn, man. That's a learn. I'm gonna take it easy this this. But season, the body's but good though. The bo you're healthy, right? Everything's oh, good. All right. Healthy, healthy, good, brother. Good. Healthy. All right. All right. Um, now I, I know that um. Little, I know you. I know you got mad at Rogan because, or somebody during the fight, they said that you called Darren Till a stepping stone, and then you tweeted out right. like, "Hey, media is full of shit. I never called anyone a stepping stone." And then someone, <laughs> yeah. someone then played the tape of you calling him a stepping stone. Uh, Who are you, right. Donald Trump? <laughs> it, it was like it was like Maury. <laughs> like, let's go to the tape, and then and then you wrote, "Oh my bad." <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> oh, man. Like Jamie pulled that shit up. Did you did. did you not remember? Did you not remember calling him a stepping stone? And, and nobody remembers what they say on the promo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Hell yeah. yeah. But that wasn't even my point. Oh. Hey man, connect the Wi Fi. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's all right. Okay, wh what was your point? Uh, <laughs> the, the point was that there's so much control media has over influence and you know I, I thought I had said something or I thought I had not something and uh, the media has so much influence that it, it, if they say that I said something everybody's gonna believe it you know right but when you say something uh, everybody's but, gonna but say it. <laughs> <laughs> but I did say it Maybe you should have stayed in college. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, You're not, but, uh, maybe not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you just fucked up. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Look, yeah. Kelvin, you are the most likable human being I've ever met. Like, and you're, handsome, too. Uh, you're, you're one of these yeah. guys that, like, and you're a loyal <laughs> dude, man. Like, you're a loyal guy. Like, you're one of those dudes, like, he came to my, my uh, we were in Vegas, and he came to my, my hotel room to do a podcast. Yeah. And I, like, fucked it up. The sound was, like, beyond horrible. And... <laughs> And it kept dying, and he just sat there like the nicest. <laughs> he's such a nice guy, man. No, that, he was yeah. just reliving being like, a bail like, bondsman, sitting there on his hands, waiting for waiting. somebody to come out the house. <laughs> yeah. You're, You're such a good I dude. Like you, brother. You're lucky I like you. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Now, uh, now, have you been? Are you on Tinder or Bumble or Grinder? I am. Um, uh, Uber Eats. You know what? I haven't been on Tinder. Yeah. <laughs> Uber Eats. What? No more. Are you, you, you are on Tinder or Bumble? No, I haven't been on that in years. Come I'm on, bro. Facebook is his Tinder, bro. This so I, guy is on top of the world. He's Instagram. banging whoever he feels like. Instagram? There you go. Why are you always interested <laughs> in everybody's <laughs> sex life, man? I don't know. Cause <laughs> always. Because yours is so sparse? Yeah, because my, I'm going to kill that for going to strip clubs. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. So you're, you're hanging out All with right, Segundo. Bro, I'm, I'm sorry to cut you, but I, I actually have to take off in a little bit. Okay, There's did, some did, hot did the pizza come? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the pizza's waiting for me at the door. Nice. Uh, All right, well, I'll see you tomorrow night What's at, at the Miami Improv. Yes, sir. We'll see Thanks, you tomorrow, Calvin. brother. Thank you. Y'all take yeah. care, yeah. gentlemen. Good talk to you. See ya, brother. Thank Thank you. You. Have a good one. Hell yeah, that dude's fucking living his life right now. Yeah. No, he lost that fight, but whatever. You know what I mean? He'll, he'll be back. He's like uh, a great competitor. Yeah. So that, that's, that's good to see him doing good. Yeah. Yeah.